Removal of the control board or any of the boards actually on the Mitsubishi equipment. So one of the things I'd recommend is you wait at least five minutes before you start taking this apart. Now there's a reason for that. This little pink plug down here, I'm putting my finger somewhere near. That's carrying the high voltage DC from the inverter board. Now it's going to take about five minutes for those big capacitors back here to discharge. So give yourself a good five minutes, go have, grab a cup of coffee, walk away. Okay. Once you've done that, start taking these connections off the board. You'll notice they're actually all colour coded and they're actually shaped. So if I take that apart there, you'll see it's actually shaped at the end so it won't go in the wrong place. The other thing I do also before you start pulling it all apart is I take a photo of where everything is, just so you know. Another little tip and trick is grab yourself a big biro and take the middle out of it. And you'll see why. So if I go onto the, the control board there, over one of the pins, push that on, just the perfect shape and size for taking those off. This control board come off a unit that's running on R410A refrigerant and the little tell there for me is saying that we've got the little display here on the units with the R32. You notice that that display is not there but you have actually got a connection point up here. When you receive your control board, the dip switches won't probably set correctly for that unit so it's worth making sure that you change the dip switches to suit that size of unit.